Hi guys, good morning. I hope all of you are doing amazingly well. Uh, so this is the first time I'm planning of doing something called as a study with me. This is going to be an eight-hour study with me. But then it is already 9:45. I woke up kind of late, and then I don't have to go to college today. So I thought I'll make a study with me because. It kind of inspires me to study, and also if somebody is watching it, I think uh, they'll also be inspired to study. So I'm going to make my bed now, and then make a timetable, and then adhere to it, and see to it that I study. I know at the end of the day I'll be really, really tired, but I'm trying to push myself so that I can uh, really finish my task for the day. So come with me. I think if somebody makes a bed as soon as they get up, it's like completing a task as soon as they wake up, and that's going to uh, motivate somebody to finish more tasks for the day. So making bed for me in the morning is very very important. So I am done making my bed. I'm just gonna go or write my study plan for the day, and stop. I have this habit of making daily plan. I think if somebody writes down whatever they have to do in a the day, they just tend to complete a lot of it. So I have uh, made a plan of studying some part of anesthesia and endocrine and infectious disease. Uh, so I think this is my plan for the day. Uh, see, uh, my study sessions are uh, going to be something like a twenty-five minute study session with a five-minute break. I'm going to do this for four times. After which I'm going to take a break of like more half an hour or one hour maybe. See, so I am trying to do this because I'm not somebody who can sit for long hours in study. So I thought if I can do small chunks, cumulatively it's going to be a lot. If you're somebody who's not interested in doing something like a twenty-five to five hour, because you'll get a lot more distracted because you start using phone in that five minutes or whatsoever. If you just do something like a fifteen minutes with a ten minute break, so Pomodoro can be customized and you can do whatever suits you best. So. Uh, for 10 to 12 slot, I've chosen anesthesia. Now I know that uh, there are like only two questions that's going to come in anesthesia in your final exams. But then I thought if I can get those two questions right, I'll have uh, you know more chance of scoring better. Not only for this, for NEET also, I think some short subjects will really help you ace your rank like anything. So I'm going to do anesthesia first. I'm going to watch two videos of anesthesia uh, from Maro. So I'm doing anesthesia from Maro. I'm going to do two videos. It will take around two hours, including revision of those videos. So now time is 9:58. I'm going to set everything and start exactly at 10. After I looked into the chapters and decided what chapters I had to finish for the day, I made a list of it and uh, made a list of when I had to cover those topics. And then I started revising the previous day's topic. And then I started watching a video. Now, anesthesia, as I said, is a very easy subject. It has a lot of things to do with circuits and machine working and etc. So I finished my first half an hour. Uh, I watched a video. It was a small video. I usually watch videos in 1.5x. So I can't watch a video in 2x because I feel like if you watch something very fast, you don't uh, retain it for long. So for me, uh, 1.5x is what suits me. Now I'm going to take a five minutes break. I'm going to uh, go fill my water bottle. Hydrate yourself is very, very, very important when you study. And then I'll come back and then start with my second session. Uh, I'm going to do it for a little long now. It's a 90-minute video. So if I watch it in 1.5, I'll be finishing it in one hour, and then revision will take another half an hour. So at the end, it will be a completion of two hours. After that, I'm going to go have lunch. After finishing one by sixteenth part of my daily plan, I sat with one more video of anesthesia, and uh, this time I'm watching it in one point five x speed. So I think I can watch it a little faster. If somebody is very interested in watching a video, they can just pull up to an hour. Otherwise, I think it is good to take break after like twenty twenty five minutes. Done with my uh, second half of Pomodoro. I studied for forty minutes. I'm going to take ten minutes break now. Uh, I need to go talk to one of my friend and come. I will just go talk, come back, and then complete the video. Uh, so I've done around like one hour, ten minutes of my uh, eight hours. After I took a big break and came back to the room, I started with my third session. Now I wanted to study for like fifteen minutes so that I could finish that two hours in total. I started revising the previous videos that I watched and then completed watching a little more video that was left. And uh, all this will account for like two hours. I think any time watching video is easier than studying, so I'll not be that tired. So I finished around two hours, 
I finished watching those two Anastasia videos and I even revised those. I'll go have lunch and come back. After I finish lunch, I think I'll go to the reading room so that I'm a little motivated to study. I'm planning to read medicine textbook like endocrine. I have half chapter left. I'm going to read that afterwards. Today's Saturday and the food looks really manageable. It tastes fine. After I finished my lunch, I came back, I changed and then I got ready to go to the ERR. So I finished watching two videos. That was the plan for me until like 12.30, 12 12.45. I had to finish one more hour but then I kind of took lots of break in between and then now it's around 2 o'clock. Uh, I think my lunch break also went up to like one and a half hours. So I finished only like 25% of whatever I had for the entire day. I studied about anesthesia machine, the boil's machine and how it's going to work and how a circuit is connected. Circuit is nothing but the connection between the machine and the patient. Now anesthesia machine, they have like uh, three parts, the high pressure areas, intermediate pressure areas, high pressure and low pressure areas. High pressure areas are the areas where uh, oxygen cylinder is kept, where they explain about the size of oxygen cylinder, cylinders and oxygen concentrators, oxygen tank, etc. And then low pressure areas are all these the flow systems. Intermediate pressure area is the area where the pressure of nitrous oxide and oxygen will be equalized to something around 55 or Pascal per square inch, so it can be delivered to the patient and all such things. And intermediate pressure area is an area where lots of safety mechanisms are there so that whenever there is a fall in the oxygen pressure or oxygen supply, there will be simultaneous fall in the nitrous oxide supply also and so many other things like that. And circuits, there are three different circuits, the closed ones, semi-closed and open. Uh, so open one is oxygen is not used now. Whatever we use now are semi-closed type A and type uh, B mostly. E is used for all these very young premature babies and F is used sometimes for children. And apart from that, the closed circuit is what is used uh, in a lot of hospitals today. It was fun studying all that. Now I'm going to ER that is a reading room and I will continue studying there. I'll keep you all updated. I'm planning to study for like 3 hours, not 3, 2 and a half hours, from 2 to 5 with including breaks, I'm going to study for 2 and a half hours. So by evening I'll be finishing more than 50% of my daily target. I'm not a very big fan of chapati, so I usually take a rice for lunch and dinner, so I hope I don't end up sleeping in the study room today. I have half endocrine chapter to read. I use Archit Balu because I like the book and then it is easier to answer all the Vaiva questions also. I uh, have like 25 to 28 pages left in this chapter. I thought of studying it in two chunks like one hour and one hour that is like 50 minutes studying plus like 15, uh, 50 minutes of studies and 15 minutes of break and in between I just made my own notes. This is not something that I do every time but then sometimes I feel like making notes is very important because you can revise it really fast and if it's colorful it is just going to retain in the brain and it's easier for you to revise also. I have found it hard to remember oral hypoglycemics like ever so I made a notes this time so that I remember it well. There are some chapters like endocrinology or diabetes mellitus which is really interesting to study you can just go on and on but some chapters like infectious disease for me is really hard and I can't read more than like 4 pages at a go. So I studied for one more hour. I have like 12 to 13 pages left from that chapter endocrinology to finish. I will just take a break now of like 15-20 minutes. I'll go and check what my class people are doing. We have my book coming up and everybody is in the decoration team. They're all decorating and making plans for our mad ads and stuff. I'll go. I'll see that and come back and then I'm going to read these and then go have coffee. Oh, that's my coffee break. <laughs> Our fest starts from this Friday, so all the people who are participating in different events are busy preparing. All the people in the decoration committee are assigned different rooms to decorate. So all this work was going on even on a Saturday and I went, I just saw, I sat with friends and they all made script and that took around two hours. So I am lagging behind in my eight hour session like anything today. guys uh, after i finished uh, you know with all these mad ads and all that stuff i went back to studying 
had not recorded it because I had very little charge on my phone and I had taken only my phone so I couldn't record it. Uh, I watched a video for one more hour and then because I felt kind of saturated in that place, I came back to hostel. And uh, now I'm studying uh, this endocrinology. I have like 10 more pages left. I'm studying that part now. And then the scenery out there is really, really good. So I'm just going to show you all the scenery. Now, after one more hour, again, I'm going to take a break. It'll be like five hours, three plus one plus one. Um, and because I'm not, uh, I'm not used to studying for these long hours, I am kind of saturated. So after end of five hours, I'm going to take a break and then continue uh, studying. I'm a sucker for sunsets and this view from this window here is one of my favorites. So I was watching it for a while and then I went back to studying. I had like 10 pages more to finish in that chapter. Uh, after I finished endocrinology, I thought I would go edit something so that it would take my mind off studying and I would be fresh to start my next session. I am editing this thumbnail for today's 8 hour study with me and I think it has come out pretty well. I kind of liked what I made at the end. Guys, I'm super super tired. I'm done with my 5 hours of studying. I'm going to take a break now, like a big break, have my dinner and then continue with the other three hours how much as possible so after my dinner break i went for a walk and then i came back and then started studying when i started studying the time was around 9 30 i had to study then i had to revise all the uh, videos that i watched and then by the end i was really super super saturated and i was just pushing myself so i could do a little more i think i am somewhere around 6 hours 20 25 minutes for as of now so hi again i am and hours, uh, six and a half hours for today and it's almost 11 already and I'm somebody who sleeps really early I think um, if I started out my day a little more earlier I could have finished whatever I had planned for the day this is the first time I tried making something like a study with me uh, vlog, uh, vlog and then I don't think I can push it up till 8 because uh, whatever I'm trying to read now I don't think it's getting registered in my brain so six and a half hours is what I can do and uh, this is something um, that I tried for the first time and it's not like I liked it completely also because whenever I've tried reading because I would keep my phone on record mode somewhere I would be kind of distracted and I couldn't give 100% to whatever I was studying but it was kind of fun shooting this also I think when I'm really uh, you know very serious studying and then when I can really pull up to like 8 to or 9 hours studying I'll come up with more videos like this so today is, is almost done and um, that's all I can push myself up to. So six and a half hours is what I could do. Uh, I hope you all enjoy watching this video. And if you want more videos like this, you can always leave a comment below and I'll always come up with more videos like this. Uh, that's all. Until next time. Bye bye. Sayonara.